I'm Chris Allman, Commanding Officer of HMAS Chules, and I'd like to show you what we've been up to during Exercise Talisman Sabre 2015. Let me explain a little about this remarkable ship. HMAS Chules is a Bay-class landing ship dock with a ship's company of around 160. We are capable of transporting up to 330 soldiers and all of the equipment necessary to support them on operations, including tanks, trucks and bulldozers, and enough supplies like food, fuel and water to sustain their operations for a long time. As you'll see in the video, HMAS Chules also has a large flight deck which can operate our MRH-90 helicopters and an enclosed dock in the stern capable of accommodating many different types of landing craft. We're able to support any amphibious operations that the ADF might be involved in, including military conflict, peacekeeping or humanitarian work. Right now, we are putting our skills to the test in Talisman Sabre 15, off the coast of the Northern Territory, where our primary role has been to provide amphibious support to the exercise. Our journey began at our home port in Sydney, when we departed Fleet Based East and headed to Townsville to embark around 250 soldiers from 2RAR, along with the vehicles and equipment they needed to complete their mission. During the passage from Townsville to Darwin, we did a lot of training, practicing embarking and disembarking people and vehicles using the watercraft via the dock and the flight deck using our MRH-90 helicopter. We also practiced transferring stores and equipment over the ship's side with our cranes to the Mexifloat. The Mexifloat is like a giant raft made up of modular components, including the engines, which is assembled adjacent to the ship. When not in use, it can be secured to the side of the ship, ready for quick deployment during operations. The smaller landing craft you can see is the LCVP, it can carry people and light vehicles such as Land Rovers. They are light enough to lift with our cranes and are stored on our upper decks as they don't need much protection from the elements as other equipment. The larger green watercraft is one of the Army's LCM-8 landing craft. They are significantly bigger than the LCVP and can carry much heavier loads such as trucks, bulldozers or armoured vehicles. When they reach the landing site, the landing craft run up on the beach and the vehicles drive off to their objective. The landing craft then return to the ship for their next load. Our job is not over when all of the equipment is ashore. We can remain on station for a long time, providing logistic support to the land forces with food, water, fuel and ammunition. We're also able to provide command and control, communication support and have helicopter and medical facilities available in the event of emergencies. And when the land forces have finished their mission, we pick them all up again and take them home to Townsville. This exercise has been a great experience for HMAS Chules as it gave us the opportunity to perform in a realistic operational environment with our American partners. Also importantly, the amphibious skills learnt on this military exercise can be equally applied to peacekeeping and humanitarian aid missions. Thank you for watching and I hope you've enjoyed this snapshot HMAS Chules during Exercise Talisman Sabre 2015.